Hey there. So, it's been about 12 days since my last update, which is a lot for how I've been doing this year. But I was recording so many videos for a while that I was starting to suffer from video burnout. So, I'm still going to be recording. I'm going to do it at a slightly slower pace. And I have, I have kept working on some of these projects. I mean, this is most of my hobby right here is working on projects like this. So... As you can see, I've made a bit of progress since the last time we, just, we talked. From the top. Say that you already have the project cloned onto your own computer. npm start. Compiles all the TypeScript down to JavaScript. Webpack bundles it up for us. And then Electron hosts it. And we do not need the debug console currently. The sprite test is gone. It was getting in the way with some changes I had to make, but there's a new game button, which is kind of exciting. And here we are. This is the game as it stands today. Let's see if we can do a compare and contrast. Just a second. While I try to find the original Java edition of this game. Ah, there it is. So, so this is the game I'm cloning. It's Minecraft. The window stays at like this, this, the size. But um, start game here, and it's kind of what it looks like. The differences are with mine. My screen is bigger. There's more. You can see more on the screen. And there's things like I, re I replace this little item display down here with a, something more like what you might see in a Zelda game. I think when I'm done mingling this thing, it's going to be a lot more like a Zelda clone than a Minecraft clone. So we're walking around. The camera has a, a lerping function. So that's like the camera position is separate from the player position, but when the player starts moving, the camera will start to follow along up to a point. If you get all the way to the edge of the map without dying, then it's like the camera will let you walk all the way to the edge of the map. But it's more likely that your stamina will run out and then you will drain of health and that'll be it. I've had to put a lot of time into things like getting the stamina regen just right. Let me pop over there for a second. Go into the player. There's an entities folder, client, entities, player. And if you go into the player update function, there is a whole pile of math involved. It, the original game in, in Java was constrained to a certain number of frames per second. And then all of the math was like movements or stamina regen was all just plus one or minus one per frame. But this has all been re-architected to be based off of this game time object. Passes in the total time the game has been running and the delta since the last frame. And all the movement, all with regeneration, all the anything that I can grab that's reasonable, I convert to using time instead of frame counts. Delta time divided by 32 works in most cases for making it look about right. And I'm going to restart that just to make sure I didn't blow away my ability to track attack time. Oh, the, the debug console is opening up when I start the game because in the .env file down here, I have debug set to true. If I set that to false, then the console would remain closed. I'm going to go and close that. New game. The trees will drop apples. And it's actually possible if you just keep busting them. The tree will slowly regenerate health and will. Okay, that one just died. But it's actually possible to just keep knocking apples out of the tree without killing the tree. Hey, there's two of them right there.
And a change I made from the original, if you completely run out of stamina, then you're going to be moving a lot slower for a little while. I had to be careful with how I tweak that because the stamina regen was starting to get a little frustrating. And yeah, trying to swim when you're out of stamina, you're going to drown. That is just how life works. But you can walk around the entire level. And if you press the tab key, get into your inventory, you can navigate with this with the mouse or the keyboard. I'm still working out exactly how I want to like integrate all the inputs together with mouse and keyboard. And I want to get it working with the gamepad also. But there's a lot of other things I want to get right first before I start trying to integrate a gamepad into all this. We'll let's see if pick up some furniture. Uh, space. We are now holding on to, we're now holding up the workbench. And for this Minecraft TypeScript release, I'm probably just going to duplicate the logic from, from the Minecraft game itself, where it's like you interact with the workbench and then you can craft things with the workbench. But uh, I don't know, when I'm done with that first release, I'm planning to build another game based off of it that I'm going to be changing some of these rules around. I'd like to integrate more roguelike elements into the game. And there's a save button here. If you press save, like that, I just save the game, sort of. And then if you go down here, the saves folder, there's a date stamp with the save data, which right now is just serializing the world map to JSON. And I'm going to need to also serialize the entities, but I'm not there yet. <coughs> Wanted to get more of the gameplay down first before I try doing that. But, uh, you know, I feel like it's going pretty well so far. I'm excited about my progress. The longer I get into this, the more my to-do list is growing. Several pages of to-dos now. Ah, we don't need to do that one. Yeah, I talked about these patches like weeks and weeks ago. I don't even remember which video it was. But uh, let's see, where are we at in the game right now? There's a lot of properties like this, like this range. Range is set to 12. It'd be nice if I can, and um, there's a 40 somewhere in here. Where's the 40? All right, stamina recharge delay. <coughs> this should be based off of a player attribute. But um, right now it's just hard coded. Some of the to-dos like this, I think we'll wait until the next version. The thing about this release, Hold on, let me load up my page. So I have a Patreon account. I'm pushing out builds to my Patreon account once a week. If you like this project and want to support the continued development, you're welcome to come in here and buy a copy. I think I'm going to leave it at $3 for the duration of the project. And it's going to be updated once a week as uh, development continues. It'll be... It's more of a tech demo right now. It's not really a game if you can't win and you can't lose. But it's becoming more of a game every week. And it's pretty exciting. So, feel free to come over here and buy a copy if, you're, if you'd like to support this. Or if you want to join the Patreon account, then you'll get this and whatever other downloads I throw up there as part of the... As part of the membership, so you know, whatever floats your boat. And probably going to record uh, another coding session on this project, but uh, I think I'll save that for the next video. So I hope you can join me again soon. Thanks for watching.